What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to create a call out on our section view. Okay, so on my project browser, you will notice here I already have a sheet here, A101 unnamed. So if I double click this, I have a section 1 inserted inside this sheet. So let's say for example, what I want to do is I want to create a separate view for this uh, area here, this area here. Okay, so for me to be able to do that, I need to create a call out for that particular part of my roof. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to open the section one here. Okay, and then I'm going to create a call out here. So from the view tab, I'm going to select here the call out. Okay, and then I'm going to pick my first point here. By the way, I'm going to change the type of the call out that I'll be creating. So instead of section, so I'm going to select here detail, okay? So instead of sections here, so I'm going to select detail for the call out. And by the way, you also have an option here if you want to reference another view to the call out that you will be creating by checking this one. If you click reference other view, you will be able to select from here what is the view that you would like to reference when you create your call out. Okay, so but in this exercise, I'm going to uncheck this one. I'm not going to do that. But instead, I'm just going to create my call out by picking the first point, And then I'm going to pick the second point here. That's it. And then if you check your project browser here, so there's the detail views. If you expand that, so there's now the call out that we have created. Okay, so if you are not sure where is the call out that you have created, so you just need to click your call out. And then you check the properties here. You can see the name there. So there's the view name. Okay. So there is detail zero. Okay. So now I'm going to click the call out. And then I'm just going to move this here. And at the moment, there is no label here on my call out head. So there is no uh, sheet number or detail number on my call out because I haven't inserted this call out inside the sheet okay but let me just open that call out that i have created so let's double click that okay let's so let me just move my level okay and then let me change here the detail level to fine and then i'm gonna change the visual style to shade it like that Okay, so there's my detail zero. So this is the call out that we have created. So you can still select that and then you can still resize your call out. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open the A101 and name sheet. This one. So as you can see, there's my call out. So I'm going to insert the detail zero. So... Pay attention to this call out head. So once we insert our detail zero inside the sheet by drag and drop. Okay, so let's say I'll just put it here just beside. Then I'll click outside. Right away, you will now see that automatically Revit populates now the uh, call out head. So it's it now shows here the detail number and also the sheet number. So that means this call out that we have created can be found on sheet A101 detail number two, which is this one. So you see that one, detail number two, and then that is sheet A101. So that's how you read your call out head. So detail number and then sheet number. So you look for A101, which is this one, and then look for detail zero, uh, detail or detail number, which is two here. So this is the one. Okay? So basically that's how you create your call out. So it's not that difficult. So it's just like you are creating a rectangle. Okay? So thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.